They have come in numbers to have their eyes and teeth checked. Ndola residents are flocking to the Zambia Flying Doctor Services offices to receive free eye and dental services offered by a team of medical practitioners dubbed Zambia Medical Mission. The team comprises doctors and nurses from the United States of America and is in Zambia with the support of the Anikant Community Center, Kailash Medical Foundation and the Tassidia Foundation. There are opticians, pediatricians and general physicians. They have also brought with them 5,000 pairs of glasses to donate to people who need them. People don't go for regular checkups, even though facilities are available in certain places. Maybe because there are not enough facilities here. That's number one. And sometimes what happens is they go to the doctor at the last minute. We are here to educate them as well, to make sure that they go to the doctor immediately, not after, when it's gone very bad. Uh, same thing with dental work, same thing with eyeglasses, we get donations, so why not give them? We would like to do the eyeglasses also every year. And Zambia Flying Doctor Services Executive Director, Dr. Fabian Kabulubulu, says this organization will work with the Zambia Med Commission and other partners to offer such services to all Zambians, including those in rural areas. It's very important that all of us know our, uh, our status regarding various aspects of our health. We have to look at the eyes, we have to look at dental, and basically other services that are common. So today what we are having here is uh, uh, eye services and dental, dental checks. So such services are very, very important. And I believe in our rural areas, such services are also not uh, adequately provided. So we must devise ways of how we can deliver such services to the people in all areas in the country. The residents are happy with the quality of services being rendered to them. It's a good thing that they have brought this service here because it has made it easy for many, as you can see, of my folks and myself to have this service nearby to us as this provides uh, a good opportunity for people who cannot see so that they can, they can be availed this opportunity. The team has split into two groups. One is expected to be on the copper belt for five days, while the other is in Mamlima constituency in Wapula province. This is to ensure that they reach as many people as possible. Tisa Nkoma, the news in Indola.